Audacity is an amazing tool for learning a language, and it's completely free. I will do my best to show you how to use the program to improve your learning. First, you will need to download Audacity. That can be done from this page. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and install it, then open it. You should see something like this. These are our basic controls for pausing, playing, stopping, going to the beginning, end, or recording. If you press this button, or the R key on your keyboard, it should start recording, moving along like this. If you make a sound, it should register here. One more thing. I like to work in mono audio to make things less cluttered. Since I'm only doing basic speech, it really isn't important. If no sound is coming through, make sure the correct input device is selected. This may take some fiddling. There are a lot of options, but you will find it eventually. A microphone isn't the only recording device you can use. If you select Monitor of Computer Audio or something similar, it will start recording the sounds your computer makes. This can also vary greatly between different computers and operating systems. If it isn't immediately obvious, search How to Record Desktop Audio with Audacity on blank. For me, I had to select a few different things to make it work. Now, I'm going to record some audio from a news clip to take a look at. I simply select speakers, press record, then play the part that I want to record. Legislation is widely supported within the democratically controlled House and Senate, but it faces resistance from members of the Republican Party. Resistance, Senator Bernie Sanders said, may be overcome using Senate rules. What we cannot do is wait weeks and weeks and months and months. Then simply stop the audio and the recording. Now we have our lovely recording. Resistance. If you have it in stereo audio with two tracks, you can easily switch it to mono, like I have it, by going up here, selecting split stereo to mono, and deleting the extra track that comes up. Like I said, that just makes it a bit easier to work with. Now let's say we want to hear our recording twice. All you need to do is select the audio, but it faces resistance from members of the Republican Party. Select copy or press control C. Select another location and press paste or control V. But it faces resistance from members of the Republican Party. But it faces resistance from members of the Republican Party. And there you go. We have doubled the recording. This can be helpful if you want to hear something multiple times in a row or go back and forth. Our audio is looking good. But what if we want to remove this part here? It's not doing anything. All we need to do is select the section and hit the delete key. Let's add another track to go along with this one. That's how we can get multiple things to play at the same time. We can also learn how to import audio. All we need to do is hit file, import, audio, then select our file. In terms of language learning, there isn't much use for having multiple tracks. So let's just cut this piece, control X, and put it at the end. While such flights are often part of However, the second track can be super useful for matching our voice to a recording. This technique is often called shadowing. All you need to do is listen to it a few times, select the second track, and hit record. This most likely won't work unless you're wearing headphones or earbuds. And then you can go back and listen to both at the same time and listen for differences.
but it faces resistance from members of the Republican Party. But it faces resistance from members of the Republican Party. But it faces resistance from members of the Republican Party. Mine here is a little bit quiet, but you can see how it can be very useful. Once you don't want to hear that anymore, just hit the mute button over here and it will no longer play. But it faces resistance from members of the Republican Party. This isn't easy though. If you ever have trouble hearing something clearly, Audacity can be used to slow down speech to a more understandable speed. All you need to do is select the section or sections you want to slow down, go to effects, change tempo, not change speed, change tempo. Make sure you have high quality stretching enabled or else the audio will sound like a mess. And then you can move this slider depending on how much slower or faster you want it. You can see the current and future length of the selection here. But it faces resistance from members of the Republican Party. But it faces resistance from members of the Republican Party. Another helpful thing you may want to do is add some silence. This can be helpful if you want time to respond or add some time to think between parts. There are several ways to do this. The first one is to select where you want to add the silence, go to Generate, Silence, then choose the amount of time. This can take a lot of clicks though, so I just like to copy some silence I already have in the piece and just paste it at different points. Very good. That's about everything I want to show you today. There are hundreds, if not thousands of ways to use Audacity to improve your language learning. Try it out and see what you like and what you can discover. To wrap things up, let's recap the most important things you need to know. Hold Ctrl and press C to copy things. Hold Ctrl and press V to paste things. Hold Ctrl and press X to cut things. Press Delete to delete things. Use this button to silence things. Press R or this button to record. And change your input device or microphone with this section here. Thank you very much for watching.